everyone, welcome back to Red Trail Homestead. I'm Angela, this is Cooper. Today I wanted to show you what we have growing for our fall garden. We have started carrots, peas, more beets, and some radishes. The radishes, I planted more for our animals, but then Hunter told me, or should I say, reminded me that he likes radishes. <laughs> So some of them will be for him and some of them are going to go for the animals. And we also have spinach, kale, and a lettuce mix. With the spinach and kale, we're just going to be harvesting it for the baby greens, much I prefer baby greens from those much better. So let's show you how they are progressing. Yeah. Alright, so in this first part we have carrots, then our radishes, our beets, spinach kale and lettuce mix and then on this side and on that side we have our peas and from these peas I actually saved the pea pods that I had growing back here that I didn't have very many so I just let them mature fully and dry in the pod and then I just simply planted them and these are going good we did do a different method and I will like never not do it again. So let me show you what we did. After I direct sowed the seeds, I watered everything really well and then I just simply placed a scrap piece of wood that we have in our <clears throat> lumber pile and I just chose ones that would fit the width of our grow boxes, they're four feet wide. And this just helps to keep the soil moist so that it's perfect growing conditions for the seeds to germinate and then to finally sprout. And then every couple of days I would come out and peek under the board to check for sprouts. Once there were enough nice cute little green sprouts, I took the board off so then that they were exposed to the sun. It works so well, the first seeds I did were the carrots, and they actually germinated much faster than I thought, probably because of how hot it is. I just made sure to keep the ground well watered, and then once we got the sprouts up, just took the board off and let the sun do its work, and then we planted the radishes, and then the beets, and I just kept boards over those, and then we did the spinach and kale and with the boards on those and everything is going so well. I'm gonna have a nice cute little fall harvest which I am grateful to have because we didn't get the best germination with our summer spring crops. And as you can see it is just doing so well. Now what I need to do is to thin these carrots. I'm just gonna come in with some scissors so that I'm actually not disrupting the roots. And I'm just gonna clip them like every inch or so, make sure there's only one, just so that they have plenty of spacing to grow. See, we're already starting to get some true leaves on these and I couldn't even tell you what varieties I planted. I just planted what I had and I know that I sowed them thickly because I didn't know how well this method was going to work. As you can see, besides this little patch right there, it did really well. I also might have just been low on seeds and that was all I had left on the end. So, good job for me on spacing them. <laughs> But then we have our radishes. You see the peas growing just nicely. All of our beets, spinach and kale, and then just our lettuce mix. And that's all that I have started so far for our fall garden. I'm not sure what else I might be putting in the ground yet. But that's what we got so far. And everything is just 
still waiting for it to fully mature till we can get it harvested. But until next time, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Share with your little gnat. <laughs> Share with any of your gardening buddies to help them out with their germination. This can also totally be done in springtime. It's not just a fall thing. Well, not just for a fall crop. Definitely for any, really anything that needs to be direct sown. And that's a little bit more difficult. Like carrots, they're just a little bit more difficult to get germinated and growing properly. So, thank you for watching. I remember that I did plant something else. I did plant some more zucchinis because vine borers slash squash bugs got to our other ones. This one is starting to co come back. That one I'm going to need to tear out. But we still got enough time before our frost to get some more zucchinis out of it. So I did do that.